All right, and we've started a brand new recording around episode three of The Wandering Village. I'll be uploading this to YouTube. Hi, everybody from Twitch chat. Um, I got a press release key for a few days early access of The Wandering Village. It's a very fun game. Let's go over it really quick. It's a roguelike. You pick paths. You're on this giant dinosaur thing called Onbu. It has six legs. It walks around. It's really cool. We just got into a desert biome. That means it's going to be really, really dry. Hopefully, we'll be able to survive this because I know it's going to be pretty bad for our water supplies and we're kind of running out of food uh we don't have any drought resistant foods either so we'll we'll see how this goes i guess i'll drop that we just don't have enough people so i'm definitely going to pick up the nomads who do we have here three people excellent all right so uh earlier on we were kind of just like starting to get everything we need for um, unlocking a lot of these bigger sort of more important tech trees sort of decisions that we have to make here. Um, I'm actually going to shut down the mycologist because it's going to eat up water that we do not need right now and we cannot afford to use. Um, that person can go do something else. And hopefully this will actually... Okay, so 0% growth, so this just isn't going to grow. Alright, so uh, we're officially in a food crisis. Luckily, are berries still growing? Okay, berries are still a okay source of food, so it won't be too bad. Countdown to days without cannibalism. Oh, this game doesn't have cannibalism. You're thinking of uh, Frostpunk. Luckily, this game doesn't have cannibalism yet. But devs, if you're watching this, I'm just saying, like, if you put in a cannibalism feature, like, I'm not going to say I won't use it, but there's a lot of people here and they look pretty delicious. Anyway, uh... Let's see what our salvagers are working on. Short heat wave. Oh, I hate this. Uh, I guess we're going to keep collecting rocks because rocks are very important to us right now. Hopefully we will be done with the cactus plantation soon and maybe we'll be able to survive this heat wave. We still have plenty of water though, luckily. We were talking about furry conventions earlier in the last um, in the last episode, and we we're kind of talking about what you need for. Well, actually, this is zero growth, so shut this down. Go do something else. Go be productive. Is this also zero percent growth? Yeah, probably. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's let's shuffle people around that we don't need. I'll unlock this. Have somebody work here. Start making food for our giant village doggo. Actus water for all. Mm -hmm. And the music is pretty good too. I'm enjoying it. I like how there's different music per biome. Um, I might actually build another scavenger hut. Because we don't really have anything else to buy. And having another scavenger hut might be a very good investment. So that will give them something to do. So they're hungry. Kind of dealing with it. Sort of. Yeah, we're running out of food. Cactuses, please. Me tomatoes next. Okay, so we have that. We'll switch uh, these to from beets. Tool comp of 75% efficiency. We'll, we'll swap two cactuses ASAP. It's a shame, because this this is a very large, nice little farm. Scavenging party returned. Oh, water. Yes, get more water. Very important. One thing you like about smaller cons is you get to talk to people and know them. Yes, especially if um, you kind of notice fursuiters will loiter around the lobby, kind of vibe and... You know, wander around, try to get pictures, meet people, interact with people. I've noticed that at smaller cons, it's way easier to find people who will just like hang around, have fun, like not have any huge expectation of um, having too much to do or, or anything. They'll, they'll just be sitting around in the lobby. You can chat with them and it's, it's always nicer that way, I think. 
Right, wh where was that 70 something efficiency that I saw? So smaller cons definitely do have that where you can, oh, I'm going to have to wreck my wonderful little road here. Smaller cons definitely have that advantage. How do I build this road now? I guess through here. Smaller cons have that advantage that you, you also have the time to kind of meet people and relax and kind of just enjoy life. Bigger cons like MFF. Oh, I'm running nonstop. The places, um, like even small anime cons are great. Like San Jose uh, had a really good one. Um, Sin City anime was pretty good. I don't think I have a very strong feeling on where I want to go. So I'm going to let Ombu decide. Research corn. Yep. Trying to game. We will research some corn. Oh, we research petting. So we should probably unlock that stuff and have him do something useful. Pet the Onbu. That's why we have hands. There's a flat screen TV and less than 100 people are woeing after you. For some reason, you can talk and meet people more often. Oh, really? What do you mean by like, um, like more, more people or, or like a flat screen TV? Do you mean like uh, as long as there's like something people will, will like run around next to at a convention? Because yeah, I could definitely see that being true. All right, they are they are planting cactuses. We're gonna need to plant corn next. Mm, corn. Can we survive this with berries? I wonder. Uh, the efficiency is too low. It would be better to just dig all these up and put another farm here. Yeah, we'll make this the corn farm. And we'll also harvest all these berries just to get them out of the way. Oh yeah, you need to relax to know people. That's a good point. Uh, most lobbies have flat screen TVs. They're really big. It's a great place to kind of meet. You have a good point there. So, do we just grab the sand? Hmm. We'll get the iron ore, I guess. There's not nothing really that vital. Oh, maybe maybe the ombu spikes do produce more stone over time. Maybe they do pop up like pimples. Every convention has that roving band of jumping of uh, people jumping from room party to room party. Yeah, that too. I've been invited to a couple of room parties, but I, I haven't really vibed too well with room parties, I guess. It's they're interesting, but like I'll pop in, kinda talk, you know, grab a drink or a snack, and like usually I just think, oh, I should be recording something. <laughs> well, we're not gonna get any beet soup, so those people should go elsewhere. Max that out. So it's always kind of funny that um, I've been to room parties I really like, and it's a good vibe, and you can like sit down and really enjoy it. Other times I'm kind of like, eh. Actually, wait. So command Anbu to walk. I don't think Anbu cares. All right, let's send scavenging parties out. I want more stone because we're almost always out of stone. Alright, do we want to go north or south? I can't really see. I think south. Ombu doesn't trust my commands. Okay. Okay. Animal Doctor, Horn Commands. Ombu food. Yeah. Alright, let's watch this. Feeding a giant dragon thingy with a catapult. Is it happening? Preparing. Ah, there we go. Oh, there we go. We almost missed it. <laughs> we'll be doing that quite a bit. Katsukan. I've heard of Katsukan quite a bit. I'm not entirely sure uh, if it's a good place or not, but actually, I think we'll unlock this. I think we're doing good on water. It's just food. That's still the problem. Ombu just doesn't trust my commands. Ombu poison level, Ombu sleepingness. 
All right, let's pick our next research here. Do we research tomatoes? I think we have tomatoes. Where do we go next? We have two knowledge. A scout tower might be useful, but we need, we need glass. We just don't have that. All right, I think we start going down the renewable resource path. Because uh, I, I don't really feel like doing much more with Anbu. Uh, we'll, we'll pet them once in a while. Uh, definitely Sawmill is going to be up next. I think we might start clearing out some of those giant trees and such. Forester. Uh, so that's where all this is. Tree nursery. Yes, that is what I want. Perfect. Do a little mech cosplay. This is slightly sarcastic about, oh wow, you ha you get to stall until someone is forced to talk to you. How fun. Yeah, room parties I feel like are the most fun if it's a room full of comfy stuff where you could sit down and like somebody is DJing and they're actually good at it. Those were the room parties that I've enjoyed, um, especially that, you know, there's no pressure to like do anything or do anything but vibe, I guess. I would just want to do a little mech cosplay, but swimsuit little mech. Okay, you could probably pull it off, but I would say you definitely want to, like, get... Well, little mech isn't that buff. I was going to say, you should definitely buff up and, and go for it, but reach your cosplay dreams. I think that'd be really cool. Alright, what else is going on here? They're almost done scavenging. There's plenty of water, which I'm actually happy about. Water is definitely not our bottleneck. Ooh, ruined settlement. Yeah, grab that. I guess Ombu picked the right way. All right, so how can we pet Ombu? We have the command to pet Ombu. I want to pet them. How do I pet the boy? Trebuchet. Where's the petting command? Hmm. If anybody knows how to pet Onbu, let me know, because I, I want to pet the boy. I think we can leave one of these staff here. We don't have enough food, though, which is a problem. Overall, I think we're surviving. Our food is, is pretty neutral, which is great. Got a cactus farm, all of this is going pretty well. We're running out of resources, so I'm going to start commanding some harvesting operations again. Lots of mother trees, which is also a good thing to have. Yeah, let's do some deforestation. That's fun. Mm, yeah, just get all of that. Hopefully that will give us some wood. Ah, uh, wonderful. You might have to pet while they're asleep. Maybe. Already toned, more chiseled. Mm. Cuddle party in my hotel room. We'll order pizza and watch Ghost Adventures. Yes, Cactus Bat, hit me up. I am down for that. Ooh, shrine. Yeah, send party. Cool that we can actually just barely see that and get that. I'm down for a pizza cuddle party. Like, sleepovers are conceptually, like, my favorite thing ever. Because I, I just love the idea of sleepovers. Need more workers. Never enough workers. But I think, I think we're at the point where we've stabilized the, the early game. And we can kind of have a little bit of a breather. Um, this is kind of great. I'm pretty happy. Ombu's sort of happy. They're still hungry. We need to lob some more food into their into their mouths. Oh, are they are they taking a nap? Oh no, they're sleeping before the sleepy spot again. Really? You're a silly little guy. Can't believe every time they like just barely get it. <laughs> they just don't sleep in the sleeping spot. Pet, pet, pet. Oh yeah, let, let's see if we can pet him. Pet, pet, pet. Walk, run, lie down. Do we need an Ombu doctor? Is 
that how this unlocks? Let's look. Oh, maybe. Maybe it is an upgrade of the Anbu Doctor. Well, let's let's get that. Let's figure that out, and I think that will be a good thing to build next. When you come over my way, the aquarium does sleepovers. You can run around and look at nocturnal fish. It's amazing. You bring a sleeping bag and everything. Oh, I'm totally up for that. That sounds like it will be a lot of fun. I actually just got a Kigurumi, which um, for people who aren't into like Japanese culture and anime and stuff, it's like a uh, onesie pajama made of fleece, and it's a Kigurumi based off kite. So you probably seen me in the videos and pictures wearing it. Hey, Jer. Giergris. Giergris. Did I say that right? Welcome to the stream. We're uh we're wandering on this village and it's it's been pretty fun so far. I think in order to pet the boy, we're gonna have to get an Anbu doctor though. Yeah, uh, I'm really happy about the Kigu. It um it took a little while to make. That that's my only like criticism. Um, but it's it seems pretty high quality. I'm I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, kind of wish it was a little faster. It kind of makes sense to put this here, doesn't it? Yeah. Right here, because we'll build stone mining places. So it was, it was overall a great thing to get. I'm super happy with it. It turned out really cute. I kind of wish it was a little baggier, too. Ah, oh, Galambino! Yeah, I... I recognize you. Welcome into the stream. It's nice to see you here. I hope you're having a great night. Yeah, I'm trying to stream a little bit more often now that I have a little more time now that there's not going to be as many conventions. So welcome in. Let's see. Let's let's get some more quarries. When you actually need to... Well, okay. Look, heal shadow. Let's, let's look at it this way. Maybe this is an Ombu psychologist. That's what we need, is, is somebody to pet Ombu to make him trust us more. So we'll, we'll actually set this to high priority, because it'll be really cool to have that. I think we might actually... Mm, no, we don't have enough advanced stuff, so we'll keep that going. Definitely need more stone, though. Back-to-back -back cons gets draining. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Kinda of worried since this is your first time. Well, welcome in. I hope you enjoy uh, Twitch streams, and I hope you enjoy this stream as well. It's uh, you know, no stress, just fun. It's a little thing I like to do once in a while. Back to back conventions gets draining. Oh, you have no idea. I I wanted to play this game to take a little break from video editing because I've been doing back to back to back video editing, and it's it definitely starts um. It starts getting hard to to do that much in in a week because uh, usually i try to get videos out by wednesday but sometimes you know you need a little bit of a break i'm glad that people actually enjoy them like that's that's probably one of the coolest things that i can think of is people actually enjoying uh my twitch streams Okay, interesting. So we actually have too much water. Um, I think I'm actually going to... Actually, I'm going to swap from cactus to corn. Because we we no longer need um, as much water. I think we're doing good. Ah, oh, you have a lot of phobias with interaction and socialize with people. Oh, well, if you would like to take a break and lurk or just watch, that's fine too. Uh, it's always nice to have people in chat to talk with, but feel free to talk if you're comfortable. If not, that's cool too. So it's it's always, uh, you know, no stress. We are on day 42 now, which is actually pretty nice. Okay, here's a fun question for you. If you were rich, what would you do to make more conventions? Yeah, we've been talking about that for, for the last uh, while. What would we do? Ah, yes. So I think uh, the Anbu Doctor is definitely the place to be where we want to pet Anbu. But we'll, we'll worry about that later once we get some more people. Um, we were talking about conventions and how to set up a convention. What makes a good convention? Uh, we were talking about how the con suite at Free Migration uh, gave out free food and, and how they have a really good sense of community. So... 
I, I definitely think going back to what we were talking about, you definitely need a good sense of community. First and foremost, but I think that's true of anything. Once you have a good community, well, then there's nothing stopping you. And honestly, I'm glad that everybody is here enjoying streaming. You're my favorite community. <laughs> All right, let's let's actually move this horn blower out because they're not doing anything. Overall, I think we're doing pretty good. We're almost done researching the sawmill, almost done researching the quarry. Ah, uh, hi, at <laughs> Aw, Alex. The more I think about the question, contrary to what Twitch bots might tell you, money does not buy followers. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier, that um, it's kind of a thing in VTuber communities even. Okay, so let me, let me finish this thought and we'll do this. So VTuber communities have this weird kind of thing where somebody will buy a $10,000 model and uh, they'll get popular overnight or they'll spend a ton of money and then nothing will happen because they just don't have the community or the skill or the time or whatever uh, and i think it's the same way in the furry fandom you can get a fursuit and pay you know ten thousand dollars for like a super fancy fursuit and it used to be that just having a suit was enough to get a community get popular you know all that stuff but nowadays, everybody has a fursuit, everybody has a VTuber model, everybody, you know, wants to be a Twitch streamer or influencer, and it's, it's kind of silly like that, where money does not buy um, as much as you'd think it is. It's all about the people, and I think that's what's really important, and that's why I started recording all these conventions and stuff, because the community here, I think, is some of the best in any place. QM more onto talking than talking, acting. Yeah. Alright, um, if I was rich, I would spend on charity for people who need help, but if you talk about con that I make for people easier to travel... Yeah, we were talking about traveling, too, and, and you, you're, you're definitely right. That is totally correct. Let's see. Let's spend water. We have tons of water. Let's see what happens here. After a long walk through the desert, your scavengers can't wait to drink some water. Sadly, they find nothing. Keep going. Almost out of energy, they fill their bottles of water and find some... Cool. Okay, so that definitely worked out. We have plenty of water. Uh, I guess we were panicking about water for no reason, which is why we're switching to corn, because food is still kind of a tr troubling thing. We're just barely getting food together. Um, we want to plant and plant. That's probably too big a farmer's plot, really. Uh, that's fine. And we want to grow... Do we want to grow tomatoes? Three water. I think we just want to grow corn. And we'll actually also build a kitchen in the meantime. We just need more people now, though. So we'll get another kitchen, because this is kind of our, our cooking place. I made a strike today and, went and hang... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, you got to go to school. I hope you have a great time at school. Thank you so much for dropping by. I really appreciate it. Traveling is so nerve wracking for me. Oh, did I talk about my traveling uh, experience at furry migration or did I get the ahida and, and kind of trail off on a different subject? Affected by poison. Yeah. And then you just walk off. Okay. Um, let me talk about my traveling experience at the, at the last convention I went to, cause that, that was kind of miserable. So, uh, me and a friend got an Uber cause we, we wanted to fly out of, uh, the regional airport, which is, you know, a pretty big airport. It's pretty small for being a regional airport though. And the problem we actually ran into was our Uber guy, after a 30 minute drive, dropped us off at the wrong terminal. Now, this shouldn't be a problem. If you know anything about airports, they're generally designed for you to be able to get from one place to another without too much trouble, right? Now, here was the actual really big problem of that. Um, terminal 1 and Terminal 2 were unfortunately um, two metro stations across. So we had to literally take one metro station to a, to a place and then immediately wait for another train to come by that wasn't very well marked. And that is where the problem started happening. We were waiting 20 minutes and then 40 minutes. Finally, a train pops by and um, 
we miss it because it wasn't marked and like it was on the wrong side of the tracks it wasn't well uh placed and you know my friend and i are like panicking at this point because it's like oh no how are we how are we actually going to get to um our our plane so we eventually followed a bunch of pilots and just barely and i mean just barely made it onto the plane with five minutes to spare so whenever i talk about the importance of transportation like i'm i'm very well seasoned in terms of you know flying plane transportation that kind of stuff so when i think a airport is not that great mm, yeah it wasn't it wasn't a great experience but honestly, that would have been avoided if the Uber guy didn't drop us off at the wrong terminal. And he's like, oh, yeah, you can get to any terminal. Just just walk a little bit. And, you know, we kind of just believed him. <laughs> Long kite. That's me. Yeah. You know, it's funny because um, I actually don't have follower emotes yet. I haven't streamed 60 times. Thank you so much for, for the drink. It's been a year, and my year anniversary is almost coming up. I've been stalling on that. I haven't streamed 60 times, and I'm trying to fix that, so we'll have some follower emotes. Thank you so much for the drink. All right. I think we're doing pretty well in terms of... Ooh, what is this? Small group of nomads? Let them in. We need more people. Yeah, three people. Perfect. How's housing? Okay, so we need more housing quality, so we'll build more housing. That's fine. Uh, shrine, send party. We're doing pretty well overall, I think. Do we have enough people now? No, still not yet. We're all going to work on corn for some reason. Which is fine. We do need food. Overall, it seems like everybody is uh, doing pretty well here. Do we have anybody who wants to be Onbu doctors? No, we still don't have enough people. Uh, we also don't have enough rocks. So if we can build a quarry, have we unlocked the quarry yet? That's currently what we're researching. Okay. Tree nursery, forester. Forester is something I want to get next after we get the next knowledge point. Then we can start doing iron, deep quarries, all that good stuff. Um, I don't think I'm going to go do the bio extractor. I'll do a, a no trust run after we do this run, I think. I think that'll be interesting to see what happens if Onbu just doesn't trust you, period. Uh, what else could we research here? I guess we can queue that up just so we have something to research in the meantime. I hate that everyone says I'm cute. No, you should you should embrace being cute. Just be like, oh yeah, my, my emotes are so cute. I'm so awesome. Thank you. Because, you know, cuteness is a good thing. All right, how's Ombu doing on hunger? You know what? We'll, uh, we'll food them up. Nyum. Om nom nom. Nice. Constipator, that's funny. Alright, well hopefully Anbu trusts us a little bit more. We can keep this giant thing fed. Anbu seems uncertain about which path to take. Short cold snap. We have... I kind of want to go up north, honestly. Let's re-enable the hone blower. And disable... Actually, re-enable hone blower. Disable that. And hopefully... Yeah, okay. They're going. So we should be able to hopefully tell them to go north into the safe zone. I wonder if that actually worked. Hopefully. Oh, I think Anbu, uh, Anbu listened to us. Great. Yeah, it's better than not being cute. Like, I'll be honest, I, I love it when people call me cute at comms, and they're like, Oh, your, your suit is so nice, and then they boop my snoot, and, you know, 
That's like the little things in life, you know? I have to build a few more huts as well. Uh, that's a little bit more than a few. Two more is probably fine until we research the quarry, but we also need wood. I think instead it would be a better idea to get a sawmill and start mining this junk. Yeah, I like that idea. And we'll make that a high priority. We'll put down two sawmills. Because I think one sawmill per place is probably more than enough. Other than that, we've stabilized on food. We're doing great there. This kitchen isn't really being built for some reason. Oh, we don't have enough stone. That makes sense. Ombu accepts our command. Uh-oh. Small spore cloud. Ah, it's moving. Interesting. That looks spooky. Well, at least we got out of the poison stuff. All right, let's send our gatherers to get some other stuff. We have one there. We can send one here. We have plenty of water. I was hoping we could get some more people, honestly. I hate when people boop my snoop, but that's because it's hard plastic when it's booped. It rams straight into my face. Oh yeah, like I've had somebody boop my snoot and uh, like legitimately... Oh, are you going to go to go to bed? Yeah, the boy's sleeping. People will legitimately like ram my face into my fan and like you can hear my fan just scrape against my nose and it's not great. <laughs> All right, so we definitely have enough biogas, which is good. All right, we're ready for for the next uh, for the next spore inning, I think. It's ombu hungry, a little. Well, at least the corn is is working. I think we need to plant or add more corn zones. Yeah, we definitely needed to add more corn zones. There we go. Now people are actually being productive. So why can't I, I plant more? Oh, I guess there's a, a limit. All right, so what I've learned is corn actually, you know, I'm going to deconstruct that because corn actually grows slow enough that it makes more sense to actually just set this all up as corn and just have it grow that way. Oh, toxic biome. Oh no, that's toxic. Increased toxicity. Let's see. Check the current biome toxicity. It's currently low. If Ambu was lying down, ground toxicity would be high. I thought that was like temperate zone. Uh oh. And then the and then the tooltip went away. Well, that does make me happy. Not many more rocks. Can I I could go for some corn. My leaf nose breaking. Yeah, I would I would hate for somebody to break somebody's fursuit. I think it's totally fine if you know you allow it and it's it's kinda like a a fun little boop, but some people do take it too far. Okay, so I think we should be okay if that thing keeps moving. Actually I might need to horn blow and tell Anbu to do a sleep or something. Let's see. Lie down, Umbu. No, they, they don't want to. Oh, they accept the command. Cool. Yeah, just vibe there for a sec. We'll wait for this for this poison thing to get past, and we'll be safe. See, all you have to do to get anybody's trust is to feed them some food, and then it'll be all okay. Just give him some corn. Easy. Alright, stone is our 
is still our bottleneck here, unfortunately. Warehouse. Okay. Maybe we start researching wheat. We have two knowledge unlocks. So if we... Ah, uh, no. We want to go down to foresters. Because that is actually... Yes. So that is what we want to do next. Because that is... Fully uh, renewable resources. Perfect. Oh, and then he goes back up. Is it safe? I, mean, I guess we command them to run? I thought that would have meant that they this this thing moves, but it's moving very, very, very slowly. Unfortunately. Poison forests. Okay, I kind of want to explore those because that seems kind of interesting. Alright, time to get the decontaminators up. Do some flame throwing. Let's send them out to the poison forest. I want to see what's in the poison forest. Okay, so we're actually in this toxic area. Run! Leg it! Alright, let's get decontaminators up and running. Uh, we don't need any more food, so we're actually going to re-enable all the decontaminators. Drop all these farmers. And hopefully they'll, they'll go do the thing. And we'll have grow tomatoes, polynia, yeah. Corn. Oh, corn no longer grows in... Oh, that's interesting. So corn just stops growing, period, in the wrong temperature. That's good to know. So we should actually re-enable beets. Where have we been getting our food, then? Berries? Has it all just been berries? Oh no, we just hit the corn. Alright, decontaminators, let's go. Ah, they're automatically doing it too. Perfect. Wonderful. We have poisoned villagers. Employ at least one worker at your doctor. Great. We have to enable the village doctor. Get him in there. Okay, we... We're gonna have to shuffle some people around, aren't we? Uh, who do we shuffle? Mm, researchers, I guess. Researchers are less important than actually getting doctors. So let's try to get some doctors in there. Disable the farm. There we go. Now we have village doctors. They'll heal people. Excellent. And we'll tell Ombu to just chill. Ah, another settlement. Perfect. More people. That's exactly what we need. After seeing so many fursuits, are there any fursuit types I'd like to see more like? What's overplayed? Any personal favorites? Let me think about that. So I'm going to drop down the, the speed and kind of let things go. I always love to see kimono suits, and I love seeing realistic western suits as well. Um... Like, realistic Eastern Western, I, I don't know what to call it, but like, um, suits of the made by Eastern makers or realistic have a different vibe than Western realistic ones, too. I think is the best way to describe it. Things are overplayed. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the general toonie Western suit I was never a huge fan of, but you know, they're, they're the basic furry fur suit. Uh, I think that's great. Um, I'm going to say something controversial. I think I'd like to see more raptor-like masks and more like really basic uh, kind of fursuit designs as well. Because I think it's really important to get young people into, you know, the fandom and have them do stuff and enjoy uh, enjoy the convention. I think it's it's super awesome that they can, they can do that. Um, 
Uh, some people don't like Raptor Mask, some people don't like Poodling. I think at this point, after seeing so many suits, I think it's it's a great thing that people can, you know, participate without needing a $15,000 carpet. Um, what else? Hmm... Trying to think what else, because I there was something else I was going to talk about um in terms of fursuits. Oh, plush suits. I love seeing plush suits. Uh big suits with different body styles. The fat suits are cool. I I want to see more suits that push the envelope of um of what is cool and and like design trendy because like the the giant exercise ball suits or the suits with giant body pods kimono suits with big bappers uh plush suits that look like giant teddy bears that kind of stuff kigu suits that are extremely slim and stuff pretty much anything that's outside of the normal kind of fursuit thing i think it's also cool when people 3d print like a an entire suit and it's like interlocked and um like the 3d printed synth suits are really cool i i think that might be the next um raptor suit sort of paradigm where you can legitimately uh legitimately 3d print a fursuit like that would be amazing and i want to see more of that i think that's extremely exciting uh, a lot of people, you know, kind of don't like it, but I, I think that's just kind of that sort of elitist garbage, if anything. What did we find in the Poison Forest? Two got poisoned during the scavenge hunt. Oh, so I guess Poison Forests, uh, Poison Forests aren't that good to go to. It's, it's just nothing. Eh, send that party. We need more rocks and stuff. So I, I definitely love seeing rare suits and suits you might not see otherwise. That's that's probably my favorite thing. Yeah, unlock that. Do we care about having the horn blower right now? I don't think so. Actually, yes we do. We need to go north. it trusted us so hopefully that answers um that question because there, there's definitely a lot to think about that wow factor yeah the most memorable fursuits that breaks the traditional definition of a fursuit that wow factor yes like especially before um everybody goes oh wow that fursuit is the best fursuit now or or like um like protogen before protogen got super popular like that that's always super um super impressive or uh synth suits that are 3d printed i think that's going to be the next wow factor is people going you're telling me i could buy a 300 dollars 3d printer and 3d print my own fursuit the person who releases open source fursuit parts is the person that probably is going to start their next like community thing it's going to be such a huge deal because if you tell me I can pay like $300 for an Ender 3 Pro or whatever, and uh, or an Ender 4, and $100 in filament, and I could be a robot dragon, that's a pretty good sell right there. Alright. What are we doing? What do we have here? Settlers, pick them up. I need more people. Nice. Five people? That is awesome. That is great. So we no longer need doctors. Um, we have enough herbs. Actually, I want one person working herbs. Do we need food? Yeah, we need food. We need people working foods. We gotta feed Anbu later. Uh, we have one mycologist, which is great. What is going on here? No tools available. What does that mean? No tools available. Compost? Hmm. We have the Ombu kitchen, we have people cooking food, that's great. Unlock that again. So we can start getting beet soup, but we actually need beets now. Yeah, we're running out of food. Again. <laughs> Healing Ombu. Ah. 
All right, so we do need the Onbu Doctor now. So we'll have to shuffle some people around. We'll reduce the workers there. Five people who want to join. Perfect. Hopefully we can get those nomads who are crossing over very slowly. Day 51. I think we're doing pretty good, actually. Fandom is for self-expression with a safe space of people engaging in the same, not for farming. Clout has always been my creed. Yes, I, I completely agree. And that is why I record so many different fursuits. And that's kind of why I went out of my way to record, like, you know, partials, raptor masks, uh, skull masks, like all these kind of non-traditional sort of fursuits, which a lot of people um would consider like oh that's not a fursuit or that's a lower quality of fursuit or, or some other like thing where it, it's just not true it's it's a great form of expression and i think by people saying oh well you don't count it takes away from our community um our community of fursuiters so it's it's really important to definitely you know have that sort of interaction. I completely agree. Ah, oh, now we can pet Anbu. We can pet Anbu while they're sleeping. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, oh, that's so cool. It's a little, literally a little balloon <laughs> that flies out and we get to pet him. That's so cute. I like that. And then we can antidote on Boo. I wonder how much that antidote takes. That's just so cool. Just boop its snoot with the antidote. Oh, that almost uh, cured it by 20%. That's great. Well done. I've taught you everything I know. I'm sure you're ready <laughs> to lead now. If you have any questions, feel free to consult the Elder's Notebook. I'll keep an eye on your progress from afar, and I hope to celebrate your success. We did it. We beat the tutorial. All right, so that's in 15 minutes to pet Anbu. We'll actually just disable the doctor because we need those people elsewhere. They're getting kind of sick, surprisingly. Oh, ground toxicity is high. That's why. We're actually going to reduce our burners, too, because we don't really need them. We need doctors now, surprisingly. Doctors and herb farmers. I get two. Why is everybody getting sick? Probably the ground toxicity, I guess. Alright, Ambu, I know you're sleepy, but start walking. Thank you. I'll give you a food. There you go. Enjoy your food. Well, they look happy. It does take up a lot of resources, though. Yeah, so the, the toxicity is actually a really big deal. I didn't realize it. So even the ground toxicity is a huge deal. Okay. Well, now I learned. Toxicity is not something to mess with. But yeah, I, I totally agree. I think... I think it's important to keep the furry fandom a space for self-expression and being able to just have cool suits. Because otherwise, like, what is the fandom? You need to have that sort of self-expression to it. Oh no, people are succumbing to poison. Oh, oh no. No, my workforce. No, Janelle, Kim. Sad. Doctors, please. Durant succumbed to poison. Oh, well, uh, now I learned. People are actually dying. Flory. Uh, a lot of people are dying. Okay. A lot of people are dying now. That's not good. Okay, so we're gonna keep herbs. Oh, bonk. Thank you so much for the drink. Walker, Iron Heart. Oh no, everyone is dying. Yes, bring them in. Pick them up.
Yeah, ground toxicity is uh, nothing to, to bat an eye at, apparently. Oh, so much, uh, so much for everything going well. I was like, oh, everything's going so well. Nobody's dying. Everything's great. And then that happens. What do they, uh, what do they say about overconfidence being a slow and insidious killer or something like that? So many people are succumbing to poison now. Uh, doctors, please. Also herb growers, please grow more herbs. How many people do we have sick? Badly poisoned two, poisoned eight. Okay, so we can still we can still save them. That's good. Hopefully. But we lost like six people. Oh well. This chat is 400% wholesome and 10% sus. Well, beyond me, I'm 100% wholesome and 100% sus. I mean, people have called me wholesome, but I can be gremlin. Like, if you've ever seen me on a Varu stream, like, that's where my filter comes off. But if I'm playing, like, a chill vibe game, like, there, there's no reason to be a gremlin, you know? Like, I'll make a funny joke, haha, <laughs> here and there. But I think, I think we're all having a great time. We're all vibing. We're all enjoying riding on our giant wandering village. Oh, I probably shouldn't have, uh... Use the onbu food thingy again. Hopefully I won't regret that. Awaiting decision. What is my decision? Oh, there's a decision. Dense fog covers the entrance, making it impossible to see inside. Carefully, your scavengers take a few steps into it, when suddenly an uplifting melody resounds from afar. This is spooky. Let's check it out. For knowledge, whoa, listening to the sounds of woodwind instrument, your scavengers go ever deeper into the forest until they lose track of where they are. Fortunately, it doesn't take long until they arrive at a large tree with a gift in front of it. You know what? Yeah, that's legit. I'll take it. I don't think uh, sending parties into poison forests is a good idea, though. Spore cloud. Send them to the quarry. That was actually a really nice thing. What's our research? tree nursery we can we can go down and get some awesome knowledge i actually want the scout tower oh we can't get the scout tower yet uh what do i want bread would probably be a good idea uh i don't really want to hurt onbu onbu's a good boy getting lost in a forest but the forest was like oh, i'm gonna be chill you you, you can have some Fae knowledge. You guys seem like the nice kinds of people who wouldn't chop down a giant tree like you did in episode one, right? That's how it works. Forester. I don't think I care about the forester. Uh, I think we have to go to start going down this thing. Or hurt trust. I don't think I want to do that either, but we'll have to probably do that later. I think glass blower is the next thing we we go down into. We just need more people now. It is still you can't leave if there are still leaves. Yeah, exactly. You gotta sometimes chop down a little bit of forest in order to get leave. <laughs> Alright, I think we'll be able to pass the spore cloud without incident. Unless Anbu sleeps, which is actually totally fine. Anbu can totally sleep. Uh, looks like we have a pretty good thing going. We just need more people. We have plenty of water. We have... We don't really need that much resource research fresh air free of toxins excellent got people gathering berries we got mycologists on booze not gonna go hungry anytime soon that's great on is taking a nap it's so cute i can imagine like getting seasick from the rocking on on his back though or is that something you just get used to uh, eventually I 
All right, well, I think we're doing pretty well here. Berries have been surprisingly supporting our entire economy for a while now. Berries and beets. We had some corn. We don't need it anymore. Hungry. How are people hungry? We have so much food. Food variety. Housing quality. We need more housing quality, I guess, next. Oh, thank you so much for the head pats. In terms of invalid suits, seeing those Amazon Wish eBay so Oh, yes. That is totally invalid. You know, I was thinking about Little Nas S X or, or whatever the guy is called and how he bought a AliExpress suit which emboldened them to build to sell more AliExpress suits and I think that's like that is extremely terrible that like somebody could benefit off quote unquote being a furry and just being popular like that. It's I don't agree with it. I think it's definitely something you shouldn't support, especially in in such a community based thing. Like, how could you rip off somebody else's suit and sell it and then buy it and use it in a like, you know, huge concert? I think that's definitely unacceptable. Oh, we got the tree nursery. Perfect. Yes. Oh, efficiency. You efficiency 100%. Let's go. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Three mother trees in one. I love that. Can we make a nice little path here? Or is that going, is that going to tear down the mother tree? No, that's good. Okay. Oh, they reproduce too, which is kind of crazy. All right, let's check out that spore cloud that's kind of in the area. I'm going to have Anbu run. So we can get past the spore cloud really quickly. Oh. Oh, don't get me started on things like NFTs and that kind of stuff. Like, that's also like a can of worms that... I think was definitely a mistake. All right, I think we can run past and we should be safe. And imagine like being on the back of this and, and just like, it's like an earthquake. Okay, I think we're safe we and walk. I like that Anbu actually likes me now. Giant mountain doggo. Anbu's just a giant boy. They're just a big doggo. That's what it feels like. <laughs> We're doing pretty good on resources now. We just need more, more stone. And that's our current bottleneck is definitely stone. Everyone's really happy. 125% productivity. Group of nomads. Yeah, pick them up. I want more of them. Three poison people and three healthy people? Well, good thing we have so many doctors, huh? That's great. Can actually open up the Anbu doctor again, I think, maybe. Still not enough people, though. Hmm. Hopefully we can find, quote unquote, a few desperate survivors. Ooh, Lost Woods. Yeah, let's follow the melody again. What happens this time? Oh, we got... Okay. Oh, well, we got a bunch of wood. And they're just... We didn't get any knowledge. All right, I guess that time the forest is just like, have some, have some logs. All right, where are we going? So we have... Cold Snap, which I don't want to deal with. Two sleepy places. I think, I think south might be the better direction here. I'm honestly not sure. Beets are growing pretty well. We're definitely getting a bottleneck in terms of just 
people, which is kind of sad. We also need more poop. Maybe I should get the poop command. Make Anbu poop more. Actually, we don't need as much wood. We need more people. We have a ton of wood, actually. We need more stone cutters, more people in the quarry, that kind of stuff. Because that's definitely our, our bottleneck here. Ecologists are doing good. Everything is going great. Ambu's going down south. What do we have here? Pick them up. Yes, more settlers. We need more settlers. One person. That's fine. If only I could pick up those nomads as well. I'm not looking forward to going through this toxic area though. Temporary repopulation of the homeland should be a part of the late game. Yes, so I'm actually not sure what the late game is, but so far I'm wondering if it's um, just, you know, you keep going until you, you die, but we're, we're doing pretty well. Let's see, we have one person who's poisoned. Anbu's going to take a nap again. Yeah. Do sleepy doggo. Excellent. And it's kind of wet, which is interesting. We're doing pretty well. Those two berry plots are definitely helping. Traces of the past. Ooh. Petrified footprints of an Anbu several meters deep mark the surroundings of the quarry. Investigate the tracks more closely. Follow the tracks and see where they lead us. Ah. Oh. I don't know, that seems a little sus. Maybe we should investigate it more closely. Nothing but stones. Oh, I guess we got 30 stone, which is great. Oh, that was kind of disappointing. I was hoping it was something really cool. No leaves, I can ignore it. Yep, yeah, that's that's exactly kind of what happened. They're like, eh, no leaves, let's leave. <laughs> Nothing but stones, no leaves here, boss. What else do we have here? We have the iron furnace, the glass blower. We just need people. Like, I wish there was a way to make people reproduce, but I get why, you know, it doesn't happen. We've only been here for two months on top of this giant thingy. I can see why, uh, why, you know, why there wouldn't be any of that. Oh, another settlement. Perfect. Is wheat cold resistant? Let's find out. Heat resistant, heat resistant. So all this is heat resistant. I wonder if cold resistant is like the issue we're going to pop up next. So we might as well start researching that as well. I don't really think wood is our bottleneck just yet. Show interactions. I think we're pretty good on poison level. Yeah. No pet ombu. Oh, what do we have here? Arriving at the site, an old stone cutting saw. Looks like it could still be working. Hmm. Let's try turning it on. Maybe it'll make leaves. Or look. Or, hmm. Left behind around these machines. I need stone. Let's try it out. Oh, workers! The machine roars up and starts shaking heavily. You, your scavengers get a f face full of ancient black smoke that shoots out of it. Really? Poison? That's it? Oh, I thought I thought we would have gotten workers. Well, all right. Well, that's what the doctors are for, I guess. That's unfortunate. All right, send that party out. Poison is not leaves, but some leaves can be poisonous, so. I mean, maybe. Alright, what is the temperature here? 
Air toxicity is low, humidity, temperature. Everything seems pretty normal. Ooh, are they gonna pet? Are they gonna pet it? Yeah. That's so silly. Everyone loves the Anbu. Alright, looks like we're back in the cold zone. No toxicity, which is great, but it's cold. Do beets still grow in cold? Yeah, they do. Uh, 200% decomposition. Yeah, so corn can't grow, period. Honestly, I, I might just swap this back to beets and just unlock production. But then again, we, we don't have anybody who's unemployed. A collapsed mine. As soon as your scavengers step into the mine, the ground starts to shake. Huge boulders fall from the roof and block the exit. That's not... Oh. Yeah, that's not... That's not... Leaves. Rocks fall, everybody dies? Let's get out of here. Because I would much rather have my scavengers than mine. Desperately looking over another entrance, one of the scavengers st stumbles over a lever. Oh, that's good. That's fine with me. Uh, I would much rather have two people than something I don't care about, and it looks like there's a bunch of settlements, which is great. A bunch of nomads, too. So we don't want Anbu to lay down either. So I'll probably miss these scavengers here. Can we ask him to just walk normally? Is that a thing? Maybe. Oh, we're actually over by an hour for this episode. I'm having too much fun. I, I want to keep playing this game. Maybe we'll uh, pick it back up tomorrow. This has been fun so far. We have one more event, though. Let's do it. Settlers. Yes, pick them up. Awesome. Hungry and healthy people. Four of those. That's great. Send the party out again. Uh, I think I'll save here and raid into somebody. It's, it's getting pretty late. Thanks for everybody for coming. This is the Wandering Village. Um, this is an early access key. The game comes out in about a day or two, two days, depending on when this will go up on YouTube and Twitch. Um, if you like it, I highly recommend giving it a try. Um, seems like it's a pretty chill, chill city builder. Once you get past uh, the kind of intro, really shouldn't level up. Neat. Oh no, they're not as happy now. So we'll, we'll come back to this tomorrow. I think we'll continue this run uh, and see where it ends up because we, we're doing pretty well, surprisingly, on food and everything else. We just unlocked some of the higher tier stuff um, and we're actually getting people now and kind of balancing things out. So it's been great seeing everybody. If you enjoyed this, come on down, check out my Twitch streams, check out the con footage on kite.tube. Just type that in your browser, enjoy all that fursuit content, and you'll all be doing a lot more streaming because there's not a lot of conventions out a lot. No, we can't talk about conventions if I'm not online. Yeah, I'll be I'll be back tomorrow, uh, probably around 5 or 6 PST, so hope to see you around then.